My name is Mark T. Cox. I live in Haggerston in Hackney in London. I work as a curator in a gallery. My other job is an entertainer as a piano player, a singer, cabaret, performer, artist, person. I'm from Ireland, I'm from the west of Ireland, from a little place called County Clare, which is on the Atlantic, looking out over the seas. My interest in entertainment and in theatre and all of that started when I was a kid. Um, from the church, strangely, um, since I was seven, I was an organ boy. I was the organ boy in my village for 10 years. I started when I was seven, played at mass every single weekend. I know a lot of people have quite different memories of church and have quite different associations, but mine was actually quite positive because mass in a way is like a show. And it's like theater and especially Catholic Irish mass is very dramatic. It was all really, really good grounding for me for later when I was about 17 or 18. I moved to the big city, to Dublin, and I started to perform in gay bars and in queer spaces doing cabaret and kind of following drag queens around until they'd allow me to play piano for them while they sang. Today I made sweet potato cakes, which are made with sweet potatoes and onions and some salt and flour and eggs and some spices, and then topped them off with a nice little fried egg. So I made this as, I guess, as a reworking or a rethinking of the traditional Irish breakfast. Irish breakfast is usually made up of meat and then more meat and lots of meat piled on a plate very high, very heavy sausages and bacon and black pudding which is made from cow's blood which is lovely and then eggs and beans, potatoes and everything that you can imagine all piled onto a plate. Taking some elements of an Irish breakfast and making them just a little bit more manageable and a little bit more edible for day to day. Unexpectedly, over the last year or two, I've become very naked. I wasn't always like this, very uncomfortable being naked and would never have had the confidence to take my shirt off or anything like that. And then I got sick a few years ago. When you get sick and when you have surgery and when you recover from something like that, you reassess your life a little bit. I kind of shook myself up and I took my clothes off and it felt good. I think more people should take their clothes off. It doesn't matter how you look or what shape you are or how, it's really about how you feel and how confident you are in presenting that. And if more people did it, it would become a better place and a better world, I think. So one thing I think which is really exciting and really interesting about being queer and especially in a big city like London is the, the openness and the, how it's acceptable to really interact with and get to know other queer people quite quickly and quite intimately because we are a community and we have common thing about us that we're so much quicker to get to know each other and to open up to each other and let each other into our lives which I think sadly isn't always the case for straight people. For straight people, which obviously is not the case for everybody, but it can be a little more difficult to make friends, especially as people become part of a couple and get married and their lives and their kind of friend circles tend to close down a little bit because there isn't maybe as many opportunities for them to interact with each other. With queer people, we have so many interesting events and shows and communities and workshops and there's always some committee you can get involved in or some kind of group that you can genuinely get to know people.